Hello, hi guys, and welcome to my channel ZJ Vlogging. Most of us will have this problem whereby our Wi Fi driver unable to be restored or unable to be detected in the device manager. Today, I'm going to show you a few steps uh, that you can use to overcome this issue. First of all, you need to make sure that your Wi Fi connection is there. Uh, sorry the wi-fi detector is on some of us they mislook that actually their wi-fi connection is off you need to make sure that it is on okay after that if let's say it is on and you still unable to find your wi-fi driver in your device manager one of the things that you can do is that you just need to click on the start button and just type device manager you went into the device manager and after that you click on network adapter here you click on network adapter after you click on network adapter if let's say there is no wi-fi driver your wi-fi driver is not here one of the action that you can take is that you go on the top side you click on action after you click on action you should see a scan for hardware changes click on this one scan for hardware changes when you click on this one after you click this one you need to restart your pc after you restart your pc you should able to see that your wi-fi driver will be there if let's say this one is not uh this one is not work for you it is not working for you the other step that you can take is you can install a driver. By doing that, it should replace your old driver. But in order to get your driver, you need to use another laptop because your laptop is unable to detect Wi-Fi at this moment. Or you can connect your laptop with a cable LAN. Okay, if let's say you use the other laptop, just search in Google Wi-Fi driver, sorry, Wi-Fi driver and your laptop model. Okay, and after that, you need to download it, put it in, uh, put it in uh, a hard disk or put it, it in a pen drive and transfer to your laptop. After you transfer, you can try to install and see whether it works or not. If let's say it does not work, this is the last option normally I do. Is that you need to go to the start button, you go to control panel. After you go to control panel, after you go to the control panel, you can go to system and security or review your computer status. And after that, you scroll down, you should see here recovery. Click on this recovery. After you click on the recovery, you see you should see on the right hand side open system restore. You click on this one, open system restore. Okay, it will take a few minutes. After that, you can just click on next. And here is the most important part, which is you need to click on show more restore point. When you click on show more restore point, you should see there will be a few date and time here you need to select on the date and time where your driver your wi-fi driver is still working okay for me for example i click on 3rd of september and just click on next next and finish after you finish doing all this restart your laptop and went in back after you restart, you see, you can see that your driver will definitely be working. If, but uh, to ensure, to help you regarding this is that you need to make sure that before you do this step, the system restore step, make sure that you back up all your document or your software that you have uh, installed to your laptop within that period. You need to backup it back because if let's say you do this system restore all the new software it will be deleted 
so make sure you back up it and uh, that's all for me i hope this video help you guys and don't forget to subscribe and like uh, this video appreciate for your support see you guys next time